um, documents from the central bank regarding the purchase of those tents yes, and that they were paid for from the Special Security Vision 2016 accounts by the central bank. Could you tell us how your institution became involved in the purchase of tents on behalf of the Office of the President? If my memory serves me right, on the 27th of September, 27th of, on the 27th of August, on the 27th of, um, I think it's the 27th of November, 2014, when uh, we received a directive from the office of the president, an executive directive, to open up an LC to purchase the tent. And um, the, road to let, the, the directive said that the central bank will guarantee the LC. And um, we went ahead and um, opened up the LC with Trust Bank. And then after the opening of the LC, on the 4th of March, we received a letter from Trust Bank, 4th of March 2015. We received a letter from Trust Bank stating that they have received the bill of lading and um, the tents have been received and therefore our accounts have been debited with, uh, if I can remember, 88 million plus dollars. And on the 5th of March, I sent a letter to the executives informing them that I have made to understand that they have received the tent and um, I told them, I drew their attention to the fact that in that directive that was sent to us, central banks should guarantee the payment of that, of that, uh, of the amount of the tent, the, the tent's value. And I urged them that they should now send a directive to central bank for the amount to be paid immediately in order to avoid charges on our account. That was done on the 5th of March, 2015. On the 18th of March, 2015, we received a response from, from um, the executive stating that they have already mandated or direct central bank to pay for the tent. And on the 19th of March, 2015, the same month, our bank statement, when we called for it, it was there, our account was credited with the full amount. You seem to have some of these documents. Do you have them? Do you have the original um, instructions, directive that you received? From I don't the have the originals. Of the you don't have it with you? The originals, no. No, that's fine. Let's have the copy that you have. The, the, the directive, the original, the directive that you received initiating the transaction. <clears throat> Just need the, the, the letter initiating the transaction from the office of the president. No, I don't have the letter initiating it. What is the date of the letter? You it said? was on the 27th of September, 2014. Okay. And it said you were to open an LC? 
yes, we should open an LC to purchase the tent and that central bank will guarantee the payment. So you were not really being asked to give a loan? You Pardon? were not really being asked to give a loan for the purchase of the tents? Indirectly, in, indirectly that's a loan. And when central we make, bank would guarantee it. Yeah, indirectly, what, what? it was a loan taken from the, the, the bank. And else is a letter of credit. With the accounts were actually debited. Was the intention that you would pay for it when it when the when the invoices arrived or the shipping documents arrived? Was it yes. the intention that Social Security would pay for it? Well, when you open the LC, it's automatic. As soon as it arrives, the debit your account, and our accounts were rightly debited. Okay. Did the board approve this transaction? If you have the board resolution, please provide it because we don't have it. I, I, I should think so. I don't have anything to, I, um, I should think so. Well, you were, very Can I, you were very emphatic when you came the last time that yeah, all the transactions yes. you did were approved by the board. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. If, you, uh, if you don't have it now, do you, can you tell us yeah. the date when yeah. the board approved it? Can I make it, um, can, can I make, if I, am I allowed to say something? Well, you answer my questions first. Can you tell us? You are allowed to say something. It's a. Yeah, I don't. A, I, I but, can't but, remember the date. I can't remember the date. But um, I'll see what the date of the event. Was it by walkabout resolution, or was there a meeting? No, usually it's by walkabout resolution because there is no time. Who it's would be, who would be responsible for the process of the walkabout resolution? The um, secretary to the board. And who was I the secretary to, to the board at the time? It must be Babu Karfun. Babu Karfun. Yes, you said you wanted to say something. Is it in relation to this transaction or generally? Yes. Um, what but I is want it to say, in relation to this transaction? Yes. What I wanted okay. to say is that um, as per the act, we don't need a board's resolution or a board as per, which, as per which act? Yes, as per the act. Which act? This the, act? Yes. This one? Because yeah, you know we, you were yeah, there we for the... don't need board's approval. Board don't have the mandate to approve or disapprove a directive from the minister, nor not talking about executive directives. So we don't need it. So we take it for the board more or less is for formality and for information purposes, but not for approval or disapproval. The board doesn't have the mandate. Can I, can I have the act, please? I only have one copy. You have referred to the act. Yes, sir. Can we have the name, please, and year of that act? Pardon? What is the name of the act? Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation Act. Which year? 2015. Thank you. Um, Mr. Graham. Yes. The loans that are the subject matter of um, at least this investigation by the commission that are being brought to your attention were loans that were entered into before, the loans that were made before 2015. Okay, we can so give the you 2015 the act does not apply. I just we want to... We can give you a lie on your act. Okay, 2010. 2010. Which is just the Social Security Corporation Act 2010. Yes, madam. Because you had a separate housing, one for housing at 2010. Yes, yes madam. Okay, very well. In your act, you can go to twenty-seven. You can go to section seventeen. In the twenty fifteen act, is twenty is section um, sixteen, sir. We'll, we'll 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 get to that. You said the the board doesn't have the authority to approve loans. To approve or disapprove a directive from the minister. Who has the authority to give loans? 
who have the, the authority to give loans is the corporation has the authority, but with the approval of the minister, not the board. Who is the corporation? Who do you understand to be the corporation? Including the board, the management and the board. Mr. Graham, the corporation, the Social Security Corporation, is a legal entity. Yes. And um, the governing body of the corporation is the board of directors, not yes. management, but the board yes, of directors. The yes, the management, yes. governed by yes. the act. So every power that is vested in the corporation is a power that can be exercised only by the board of directors. Do you agree with that? I agree with that, Madam. Okay. So when in section five, it says the functions of the corporation are, and in relation to investments, it says manage the funds entrusted to it in a manner consistent with the act and the regulations. C, initiate investment policies that will yield reasonable returns to its members. No, I, I don't have that, please. Initiate investment policies that will yield reasonable returns to its members. And D, make provision for payment of benefit to its members in a manner consistent with the Act. And E, undertake investment ventures considered beneficial to the members. These are the powers of the corporation. These are vested in the board as the governing body of the corporation. Yeah. Is that not so? The first part, I did not hear the first part. I had the latter part, but the first part, I did not mm. hear. The, the, the first few lines you said. The functions of the corporation. The functions of the corporation. Are, uh, okay. And it's listed, including your functions to give investments. Yes, yes. It's honorable. vested in the board, isn't it? Yes, as the honorable. governing body of the corporation. Yes, honorable. Now, you were referring to um, section 17. Section 17. Okay, section, I'll read section 16 first. The, well, the part, that part says management and administration of the corporation. Yes, madam. That's part three. And section 16 says the formulation of the general policy of the corporation is subject to this act vested in the board. Yes, madam. Then 17 says, notwithstanding section 16, the minister may give general directives in writing to the board yes. on matters of policy. Yes, madam. And the board shall comply with such direct directions yes, on matters of policy. Yes, Do you understand this to be saying that uh, the minister can tell the board who to give a loan to and who not to give a loan to? What I understand by that is that the minister can give general directives to the board in writing in respect of policies, policies that include investment policies, and the board shall comply. And this is one of those directives that the minister gave to the board to comply with, and the board has which, no alternative which, but to which, comply. You said this is one of those directives. Which is one of those directives? Like the directive of the tent we are talking about. You call, the loans. That, you call that, a, you regard that as a general directive yes. on, po on policy? Yes, on policy, investment policy. Mr. Graham, um, a specific directive to give a, to buy tents, you call that a policy? You were you the managing director for, of Social Security for many years. Yes. And when the act says the minister may give general direct directives in writing to the board on matters of policy, yes. surely you know that this is not talking about specific direct directives to give loans to anyone. This is talking about policies to guide the corporation in its operation. Is it not? And part of the policies are investment policies. Giving a loan is not a policy, Mr. Graham, is it? Your experience, your experience enough to know that. That giving a loan is not a policy. Well, it's the rules, guided by the policy. The rules that guide the giving of loan is the policy. Yeah. The loans are guided by the investment policies. Yes. And these policies are stated in the Act. And it is the policies that say that the Act says that the Minister can change, can give directives of those policies. And Section 39 
states that we can give loans in the form of investments approved by the minister. The minister is the approving authority, section, not the board. Section what? Section 39 of Social Security of the 2015 Act. Maybe there can, can to be we, section can 40. We, can we forget about the 2015 Act? Because yeah. as far as I can uh, tell... Ch check, check your... Yeah. Maybe your Act will be on section 40. Section? 40. Before we get to section 40, I just want us to clear this thing about policy. Yeah. Um, Mr. Graham, did the minister ever give any directions in writing as to policy? Did he give any policy directives in writing on any subject whilst you were there? Any form of directives? Any direct, anything in writing to guide the, in your cooperation on policy matters, be it investment, be it um, contributions, be it anything. Did the minister ever give directives in writing on policy to your cooperation? I cannot, I cannot um, say something at the moment. I cannot remember, but I can... If I go through it, at right now, I cannot pinpoint any policy that was given. I cannot remember. To be specific, since we are dealing with loans and investment, did the Minister yeah, yeah. of Finance at any time, the Minister of Finance at any time, give directives in writing to guide the board as to what investments to make and what investments it should not make? I cannot remember at this moment. But I know they have the powers to do it. Okay. You are referring to... Maybe yours is section <clears throat> 40, where it talks about the investment policies, the investment policies. I'll give you um, the act so that you are specific. Uh, we understand you as to what you are referring to. Okay. Can you give him back this act? This is Social Security Act 2010. Uh, at this juncture, I would like to say that you, Mr. Graham, have not informed the con co Commission that you are a legal practitioner. So I will ask you, are you a legal practitioner? No, sir. I'm not a legal practitioner. I'm a charter <coughs> But then, you have forced counsel to delve into legal questions by coming out with legal propositions to the extent of citing sections of an act. Is that not correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, because you did that, counsel had to be permitted to go on with the questions. Generally, somebody who is not a legal practitioner is not compelled to answer legal questions. So what I would decide now to save time is if after the questions you would want to go and ask counsel I don't mean our counsel, your lawyer, to write a legal opinion on responsibility and matters concerning law, you are permitted to do so and submit same to the commission. We, as commissioners, will decide what the legal position is at the end of the day. So the legal wrangling will stop now and we'll go to facts and issues. Yes. 
That is the order of the commission. As the, as the commissioners, please. Um, Mr. Chairman, to the extent that um, this witness believes that um, the exercise of his authority is founded in the, in the act, um, that's why I thought it, he ought to be permitted to point to the provisions in the act on, on the basis of which he, or on which he relied to act as he did because he is relying on the act as giving him the authority as a basis of his authority for his actions. Mm. That's why I, I thought we should give him the opportunity to tell us. Because well, it's the act that guided, guides his work on a day to, guided his work on a day-to-day -day mm. basis. Well, I understand that. <clears throat> if at any time he brings in this legal opinion, then he will be recalled and can be questioned on those legal matters. Very well, Mr. Chairman. Did you find the specific provision on which you were relying? I was stopped by the Chairman. Okay. Very well. You want to avail yourself of the opportunity of seeking counsel. Is that what you say? No, no. Um, it's stated here, the act I have in front of me, section Mr. 39, Graham, do you stated that, do you so wish I have to go sorry, through. Do you wish to avail yourself of the opportunity of taking counsel so uh, that you don't have to answer any questions on the, on the act on which you relied, as offered by the, the chairman? If I'm given the option to abide by, to, to defend, my actions with the Act, Social Security Act, I can go ahead with it, Is if that, permitted. That's what you want to do? If permitted, I can go as far well, as I can. You can, can. apply you, to the chairman that you want to really, you can apply to the commissioners. When? If that's what you want to do. Right now? Yes, right now. Am I permitted to talk to the chairman? You're, you're permitted to make applications, not talk to the chairman. No, um, my honorable chairman, uh, with all due respect, sir, um, if it matters regarding the Social Security Act 2015, I would like to answer the questions regarding this act. 